I'm talking about this. This is called Dad syndrome. This is usually or commonly practiced in North India, especially in Rajasthan. That means it's sperm. But they are also have like similar uh, terms from Sanskrit. They might use, uh, for example, Shukra. If you can see, Shukra is a Sanskrit term which is used for uh, describing sperm. And they might also call sperm as Virya. So such terms might be uh, used by different cultures and they have a common concept that if you lose sperm by masturbation or by any other means other than sex, you become weaker. And they also say that this is going to progress into uh, uh, importancy. So people are scared. You might be seeing people in TV explaining this. They are like, you know, like uh, traditional healers or religious healers from Ayurveda or some kind of like uh, spiritual therapy. These guys would be coming in the TV uh, after 10.30 in the night. And they say like, you know, son, grandchildren, don't shag. <laughs> this is real. They say this. And what is the concept behind this? The concept behind this is called that. And this term is from North India, but they have similar terms from South India, from Sri Lanka, even in China, they believe this. So from where did they derive this concept? They used to believe this way, you can see. So 40 meals are equivalent to what? One drop of blood. 40 drops of blood, it is equivalent to one drop of bone marrow. 40 drops of bone marrow, this is equivalent to one drop of semen. So technically you lose one drop of semen, you are like going to lose 40 drops of bone marrow, that is equal to 40 drops of uh, uh, multiply, yes? 40 into 40 into 40. So it is like losing how much? Multiply 40 multiplied by 40 multiplied by 40. So you are losing the energy given by 6,400 meals. This was the original concept. So they think that once you lose sperm, you are going to lose the energy. And they are thinking that it is going to progress into incapacitation and you are going to become important. Is it real? It's not real. I already explained about masturbation. Masturbation is not bad unless what? Masturbation is disturbing your day-to-day -day activity. You are not going to class, you are sitting in the room and shagging for the whole day. <laughs> this is one problem. You are not going to job, you are just shagging for the whole day. Or another one issue, there can be interpersonal conflicts connected to masturbation. Your wife is there in the bed, but still you don't want to have sex with her, you shag. In this case, the best way of treatment is going to be what? Counseling. So you should like counsel these people. So masturbation becomes problem in psychiatry only once it is disturbing your day-to-day -day activity. Or there are interpersonal conflicts. In this case, you can counsel, otherwise it's not necessary. Is it clear? So this was the original concept, but the issue was such terms similar to that was described in many texts. If you remember about the most ancient medical text of India, which was written by Shushruta, was Charaka Samhita. And even in Charaka Samhita, there were like terms similar to that. For example, Shukra Meha. So if you lose sperm, you lose your energy, you become important. So such things are going on especially in North India, but I'm not blaming only North Indians because even in other culture, cultures you might be finding this. For example, <coughs> in Sri Lanka they have something similar to uh, Sukrameha, or in Pakistan, or even in China they have something similar, we call it Sankuri. What happens, already the guy is scared <coughs> that this guy is wagging and he's losing his uh, <laughs> sperm and he's becoming weaker, he might become important. Who is going to perpetuate this? old guys, grandfathers and you know uncles, they believe in this thing and they said that you know they perceive that they might have had this. So they said you know when I was young even I had this, don't do this, did you do this? Oh my god you are not going to have babies. So who is perpetuating this? Older guys, especially from this culture, family or the guys who will be coming in TV, such guys. <laughs> Uh, after 30 they say, as you know, children, my son, don't do it. So this is not real. They are just making it up. They make you to believe that you have that and you start paying for such stuff.
This is reality. So this point has been mentioned over here. You can see. <coughs> The belief is further reinforced by traditional healers and perpetuated by friends and older family members. Is it clear? And who is usually affected by this? Not highly educated people, because if you are a doctor, you are not going to believe this crap. Who is going to be affected? Low socio-economic status people and who are not educated, they believe in all these things. Do you have to treat them? The main way of treatment is going to be one. What is this? This is going to be counseling. You are going to give psychoeducation. And if they have extreme anxiety, you can treat the anxiety. But not, this is not the real disorder. We are not talking about <coughs> azoospermia or something, which is real disorder. This is nothing. You will not find anything organic. Okay. Maybe some of you are following this guy. <laughs>